Okay, so today I'm going to share with you what I have packed for my motorcycle trip that is longer than a year. Uh, I'm going to share some tips and tricks, I guess you call them hacks, and some things not to do. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing that I would advise is that less is definitely more. Uh, I'm a fairly well seasoned traveler, not on the motorcycle, but I've traveled uh, quite a bit around the world. And I know that less is more. You don't need nearly as much stuff as you think. So when I go traveling, usually I'm really, really good at packing light. Like I'll take a tiny little school backpack and everybody else has suitcases or big backpacks. But it's a little different when you travel on a motorcycle because you start thinking of all the things you might need and you don't want to break down and get stuck. You don't want to be cold. You don't want to be this. You don't want to be that. So I've taken way too much stuff. Uh, don't be me. <laughs> the general rule of thumb for travel is when you pack, pack everything, take it all out, get rid of half of it. Uh, that would generally hold true for me as well. I thought that I did it. I should have done it twice. I should have packed or I did pack, took away half of it. I should have packed again and got rid of half of it. But anyway, here we go. Here's what I got. So I got my saddlebags here. Uh, in the top, I just have my contact lenses, a hat. Hat is definitely important when you're out in the sun. Uh, I got some extra tie down straps, some rock straps. Again, they always come in very, very handy. Now, another thing that is extremely handy, highly recommend it, is just a little sewing kit. With the little sewing kit, you can fix anything you need to, whether it's clothes. I've had to sew my backpack a couple times. Very, 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 very handy. And then I just have all my electronic stuff. Uh, so this would be all my chargers for phones, batteries, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then any adapters, cables, all my electronic stuff is in this bag here. Then I bought, I did bring a sweater or two with me, uh, but then I bought another one, one's for walking around, and then this one's really good for on the bike. Uh, I bought it in, I think Ecuador's like five, 10 bucks, fake llama alpaca, uh, but really warm and good for under the jacket on the bike. Then I have my other sweater, which is for walking around. Um, I've had this sweater about 20 years, back from when I was at racing school, wherever it is here. There you go. Uh, but one for the bike and one for walking around. The bike one gets smelly, wet, sweaty. This one I try and keep a little bit cleaner. <laughs> then I have my laptop. Obviously making the videos, the laptop is a necessity. So I have my laptop. Then I have two sets of eyeglasses. I need eyeglasses. Uh, I don't wear the contacts all the time. And I have two because I always lose or break one which I already did, I, went to, I was down to one pair, had to get another pair. So I have two pairs of glasses. I also have a pair of sunglasses, which I don't use that often, but again, you're on the beach, going on a boat ride, whatever, very, very handy. Okay, and another necessity is my portable tire repair kit. So I have tubeless tires and I can patch them and it also comes with a portable inflator. So I haven't used the patch kit yet, hopefully I don't have to, uh, I'm sure I probably will and the inflator has come in handy. I've used that a couple times. It's not really fast, overly powerful, but it'll get the job done uh, if you need to add air or if you've down aired for off-road stuff, you need to get back up. Uh, I would not travel without that. And then I have a pair of pants. Um, I actually have two pairs of pants. One of them doesn't fit me anymore. How embarrassing. Uh, just all the drinking and eating, one pair doesn't fit me. Uh, so I wear this one and I have these ones as well. A lot of people go with one pair of pants. I don't think one's enough, even just the day that you have to wash your pants, you wanna wear other pants, and if it's not short weather, it's not short weather. So, uh, two pairs of pants, and this. Then I also have a portable rain suit, just really cheap uh, coat, pants. My climb gear is waterproof, uh, but I've had some problems, just I've got almost 70,000 kilometers on the suit, so from sitting and stuff, I think I've worn away on the butt, some of the waterproof because the butt seems to get a bit wet and then uh, I washed it improperly and it was the, the jacket was leaking a little bit I think I fixed that with washing it properly adding some DWR but regardless if it gets like torrential downpour I can put that on just for an extra layer of water protection haven't used it yet probably gonna come in handy soon and then I just have all of my documents and stuff just a little uh, wait, or, or, or waste safe I think they call them um, but anyway, just all my documents and stuff in here. That's my one box. All right, and then this one, I have my cold weather waterproof gloves. Uh, I haven't used them yet, but I'm heading into the colder weather. So uh, second pair of cold weather waterproof gloves. I have a bunch of 
hand warmers. So these are just little hand pocket warmers. Uh, again, I'm heading into the cool weather, so those are gonna come in handy, unfortunately. Then I got a little bit of rope here. Uh, again, haven't had to use it, but weighs nothing, doesn't take up any space, and I'm sure that can come in handy. And then two other things that always come in handy. One is a flashlight. Uh, you definitely wanna have a flashlight with this little handheld one, or it's a head lantern, flashlight comes in handy, as well as a knife. You always want a knife. You don't really want to travel without a knife. Uh, not for any sort of protection purposes, just knives always come in very, very handy. Now my toiletries, my Marcus Aurelius meditations, and then this is where I may have gone overboard with packing, uh, but I'll explain my reasoning. The only thing that I think I probably overpacked is shirts. I brought a bunch of t-shirts. I've since found out that the best thing, probably the single best thing that I brought on the trip just to make my life easier is a smart wool. So just a merino wool. Uh, but I wear this just about every single day now. Um, I couldn't wear a cotton shirt and then put it on the next day. Just it smelled, I hated the feeling, it was awful. With the merino wool, this one's really, really thin so it's fine in hot weather. It's actually cooler than a t-shirt because the sun doesn't hit your arm. But with the merino wool, I can wear this almost two weeks and it doesn't smell. It doesn't get stinky, it doesn't get very stinky. Uh, and this is such a better option than bringing five, six t-shirts. Uh, with this, I'd only need one or two t-shirts to wear when I'm off the bike, but this is what I wear on the bike just about every single day. I have my sunscreen mosquito repellent. And then one thing that some people might think it's overboard, but I don't mind is I've got about nine pairs of socks and underwear. I can wear the this every day. The shorts and pants I can wear multiple times, I don't mind. I absolutely hate putting on dirty underwear and socks. So I have about nine pairs of socks and underwear. That means every week and a half I gotta do laundry, which is perfectly fine. I also have two pairs of thick socks, so cold weather socks. Um, one is a merino wool and the other is alpaca. Uh, again, both don't smell that bad, so if I have to wear cold socks for a few days in a row, um, they don't seem to hold the smell very bad. So merino wool socks and alpaca socks, but any sort of cold weather socks is a must. Then another thing I got is a set of waterproof socks. I had a set of waterproof boots, TCX. They were absolutely incredible, 100% waterproof. I wore through the heel, replaced them with the new model because they didn't sell the old model anymore. And they're not even mildly water resistant. Like this, as soon as it starts raining, my feet get wet. So I do have a pair of, I wish I didn't need them, but waterproof socks. <laughs> I have my drone, that's a must. And then I have a set of long johns. So I actually have two of these. I have a set of long johns and a long sleeve thermal thin just again so that I can layer. Um, so long sleeve thermal and long johns, definitely a must. These have come in handy when you're up in the mountains and it starts getting cold. You can layer up there really good. And then on top of my nine sets of socks and underwear, I have about five, t five six t-shirts. Again, this is probably way, way overkill. Uh, I could have got away with like two, maybe three. Uh, but I just have a hard time throwing them out. Even though they take up space, they're not really heavy. Uh, with this that I'm wearing, I definitely could have got by with two or three. I have about five or six, so there you go. And then the rest of that is just socks and underwear, and that is that box. And here, this is just, so I have three dry bags. Uh, one is mostly motorcycle stuff, one is mostly camping stuff, and then this one is just my miscellaneous stuff that didn't fit in anywhere else. I have a backpack, that's come in very, very handy anytime you're doing little hikes or uh, going on a little excursion or something, a backpack is really, really handy to have. So I got a backpack, uh, I have an extra pair of shoes, again with the boots, I use them most of the time, they're not always comfortable, uh, also if they get wet, definitely want to have another pair of shoes, so I have a second set of shoes, I have a heated vest. Uh, very, very nice heated vest. Not a must have, but definitely comes in handy, especially if you're spending any time in cold weather. I have a little rain jacket. Uh, again, if I'm camping and I'm out, just a little warm fake Nike uh, rain jacket. I have some tie down straps. 
Uh, I had to I had to use tie down straps for the ferry in Mexico. They didn't provide them, so I had to buy them. Uh, and then I figured I'll just keep them. Didn't want to throw them out. And then I just have a little bit more cold weather gear. One more uh, light sweater and one more set of long johns and another set of socks. One hack that I highly, highly recommend is these vacuum bags. This is a lifesaver for me. Um, it's really handy for two reasons. One is for your clean stuff that you're not always wearing or even if you are always wearing it. You suck all the air out. It really compresses down and it takes up significantly less space than if you had this. And then also for dirty clothes. There's nothing worse than having a bunch of dirty clothes and having to stuff them in beside your clean clothes. Everything just starts smelling horrible. Uh, you just put your dirty clothes in this, vacuum it up, takes up no space, doesn't smell. Incredible. And so for the camping gear, I have my sleeping bag, a sleeping mat. I have a chair, just a little camp chair. My tent. Uh, I've got all really lightweight hiking stuff, just so that it takes up a bit of space, but it doesn't really weigh anything. Like that's just a couple pounds that whole bag here. It's really really light, and a little sleeping pillow and sleeping bag silk cover thing. So that's all my camping equipment that I've brought with me. Right, and so then the last thing that I have is my miscellaneous and motorcycle gear. Uh, I've also got a Camelback. I hate wearing it on the back. I hate stuff like a backpack when I'm riding. Uh, so I just have it clipped onto here. That comes in really, really handy. You always have water. Uh, whether you're just riding for the day, stopping, nothing around, you always have water or for camping. And then in here, it's all my miscellaneous stuff. So I also have on the bike, I have a toolkit attached to the bike. In the toolkit, I have some wrenches, uh, some sockets, and the most important thing that you can bring on a trip to fix the bike is duct tape. You'd be amazed how much stuff you can fix with duct tape. Bailing wire, there's some metal bailing wire and zip ties. The amount of times that has come in handy and I've been able to fix stuff with just those three things is incredible. But in this bag, I have my first aid kit. I have my fuel bag. This is really good. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to soon. Um, just folds up into nothing. That's a fuel bag from Giant Loop. I have water filter. I have uh, just a little camp stove and thing to boil water in. Just knives and a cutting table. I have an oil filter. Uh, I haven't had to use it, but just in case I'm not able to find one, I do have an oil filter with me. Just a little bowl. Chain cleaning tool, matches, uh, waterproof, windproof matches. I got a socket wrench. Some almonds for a snack, more zip ties. And this is just a little foil emergency blanket, uh, just in case, again, there's any kind of emergency, that'll keep you warm. Or I can put it underneath the sleeping mat. Coffee, always important. A little cover for my phone if I'm going in water and I wanna take the phone with me, that'll keep the phone dry. I have an extra master clip for my chain. Uh, I had a problem when I started the journey. I like the, uh, rivet chains but sometimes they just don't have them i got a clip and within two days the clip had fallen off so i have an extra master link haven't had to use it again it's one of those things that if you don't have it you're definitely going to need it you're glad to have it uh but because i have it i haven't had to need it i haven't had to use it and then i have some like jb weld and putty and stuff just in case i need to oh it's coming out there uh some jb weld water weld um just again, hopefully you don't have to use it, haven't. But if I do need it, I'm gonna be very, very glad that I had it. And a one dehydrated meal. Again, just in case it gets stuck. Um, they're very expensive and they're not great, but a few times I've been stuck somewhere where there's just absolutely no food around and these have come in really, really handy as a backup. I'm down to one, um, but I started out with I think like five of them. Uh, one time I even rescued a couple of guys, a couple of American friends that I made friends with up in the Arctic and I managed to rescue them. None of us had any food, I had a bunch of these. So uh, a couple dehydrated meals as a backup. Some water purification tablets. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's what I brought with me and packed for my long-term motorcycle journey. I uh, hope that it was entertaining and potentially helpful to somebody, uh, especially the couple little tricks that I've figured out over my time on the road. 
and let me know what you think. Let me know. I'm sure someone will have opinions on stuff that I didn't need to bring with me and maybe something that I haven't thought about. Um, and again, it'll probably jinx it if I haven't thought about it and I haven't needed it yet. I've been okay. But let me know what I missed and uh, or what you would bring with you on your journey. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the other side.